Uh, yeah. We see uh, the the uh, the rest of the FGC uh, do Matrinos just fine. That's what I'm saying. Like, so. why why no are excuses. we struggling? No excuses. I was just at Mortal Kombat tournament. They had Matrino. So if they can do it, why can't y'all? Come on now. We're grown. We gotta get that more on going right now. But um, so, so but end this game, I want to see at least dollar in there. But anyway. We're gonna be seeing another again. Dill and Jules. Jules has been kind of dominating with the Steve lately, or throughout the whole bracket actually. Uh, and he's really close games. So let's see how Dill kind of deals with that situation. So I'm kind of not the biggest fan with um, Rob against Steve on Battlefield. Yeah. But that's only if the Steve knows how to like utilize Battlefield to their biggest strengths. Because what Steve can do is just turtle themselves around the platform yeah. and just mine their resources while Rob kind of has to just. Is forced to break down those walls, especially if you have them in disadvantage up against you. You have those platforms that they just have to land on, and you can just continuously kind of pressure them. Yeah, that's, a, that's the biggest thing. But you know, I think Jules is not really one of those people that kind of guards too often. Do they? Of course they do. However, it's not as often as you see other Steve players where it's like constant. Even sometimes you have a 3x3 three three wall of a block to deal with. So, Jules is not afraid to actually be pummeled on and get in your face a little bit just to just to show that one, she's just not, she's different. She's, di she's built different. You're built different. Team. Also, you're, you're reliving this, you know? But Jules has opted to go on the stage where Iron does not uh, come out as frequently as does, of course, Wood. So we're gonna be seeing also a uh, her resource gathering this time around. Yeah, and you always have to watch out for those powered mine cards because again, they are a very strong burst option from Steve in his uh, little toolkit. And against Rob, you know, your weight doesn't mean anything. You, this that is a very strong move. And Jules is looking to take Dill on the jab train right now. Not really having a pickaxe to kind of just extend, but uh, I like that block. That, yeah, that, that was a little cute. Yeah, that block saved Jules. Oh, me, me went no gyro. The little image is so cute, but either way, we have laser tracers slowly charging up as Dill is trying to take out this first lock off of Jules. Jules, of course, had diamond on the ready. Not quite mined out yet, but it, I think Jules is just saving it for a last stock just in case she dies right now, which she just did. Yep, and um, it kind of yep, didn't matter in that situation that Jules had no mm -hmm. iron because when you die with Steve, you're just getting iron back immediately on mm -hmm. respawn. And you can just spawn it on the top, top platform and just get, you know, craft your diamond tools, which Jules currently has right now. And mm -hmm. now this is the thing that Dill is going to be struggling with on Battlefield kind of is coming back from disadvantage against Steve when you have those platforms to deal with. They're able to just pick up on these nares and just punish you for it. I think the biggest thing about Steve is just the fact that he does keep his resources when he does die. And I think Steve as a character would sh should not have any resources when he comes back. He should I think reset he to zero. All of them. Like it's, like, it's not Minecraft. Minecraft accurate. That's the only thing I, I think. If there's any any emergency patch to Steve, that's a big one. That that should be one of them. But there never will be. But either way, Dill, Jules, and you say uh, Jules saved Dill indirectly by putting that block there. Yeah, just avoiding the untackable, you know. Mm -hmm. And just still tanking on with the 189. Not Whoa. quite gonna kill on the flat over here. Mm -mm, it wasn't even the on the flat. Throw. Yeah. Just, I just went through it. That I'm very surprised that uh, she didn't go up on the plot. I th I think there's a there's a portion of the platform where, like literally this little part that's ha hanging out. If if Rob himself is not on that area, he would simply just go through. That is so unfortunate. Which is really funny because Rob big, right? Rob big. It's like we need to kill someone on the platform. So, and especially with there no gyro in him right now, and Jules is just looking to take Dill right. Now with a uh, diamond forward smash being Dill's biggest op right now, and Dill is just still looking for her opening right now, just trying to get in there with the Nairs. We're seeing the Nairs kind of just cover herself, just coming back onto the stage and popping Jules off the top. Okay, all right, 176 with the Nair, we'll take those. And here we go. Now we're kind of playing a very scary game. Jules in a very in, in a pretty comfortable, comfortable position. We could be using more iron resources at our disposal, but stones will work just fine for a little bit while Dill gets nothing off the double down tilt. Oh. Yeah, but armed with the gyro in hand. You know gyro combos can always mean the end of a set. And the back air just lingering out forever, doing in the damage against Dill. 
The tides may be slowly turning for Dill right now, just avoiding the minecart, not getting caught by that 50-50. Gyro still doing the damage and clapping back with the fair. The damage is racking up on Jules. Yeah, I agree. She's just catching Jules while she's trying to mine, and it's just really funny. The delay of the backer actually I was really, really smart on Dill's behalf. Just, just, in, just, just in case to like respace herself and also not get hit by the forest match of the di diamond uh, pickaxe. I'm sorry, sword, because you would have died straight up. Yeah, it's it's your insurance policy. You definitely gotta throw it out. Gotta mash yeah, out I'm there, really scared here. What sucks is that when you're mashing out of minecart, you should go straight up. You can't. I don't think you can. There's nothing you can do. You, you just go do. straight up. You go straight up. There's no way to dictate. Wan go to the left or to the right. You go straight up, and then Steve knows. Guess what? You are free for a for a, for a spike right there. Yep. Right here. There's just nothing you can do. Go straight down. Just Not drop even jump on down. down. You pop drop up. Drop down. Bop. Yep. I love how I was watching a Steve counterplay video, and he's like, "In this situation, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. You, you can't do anything. You you just gotta. You gotta hold that. Sorry. You gotta hold that." It's quite ridiculous. A little funny. I remember when Steve came out. Good for him. I remember when Steve came out, and everyone, no, I, I like no Nobody one really him. knew how to like deal with, like how to play him, because he was so weird and funky, and like his recovery at first was like kind of like garbage until you figured yeah. out, oh, you can like. Go with the up stalling and, down and everything. And yeah. And now he's become like the biggest threat in the Smash community in terms of like competitive gaming and seeing how you fare against someone who plays Steve exceptionally well. Like someone like Jules, for example. Yeah, it's because, like you said earlier, I believe, Steve is the biggest matchup check in this game. You run into a Steve, mm -hmm. you are tested to your utmost limit. Absolutely. I'm a firm believer that like just matchups are just like on paper they they are where they are, but you have to really apply yourself and like know how your character plays against what their what the other person's toolkit is, you know? Yeah, that is the main thing. Really you you can only is. read, you can only prepare yourself so much for a matchup. Complete experiencing it is just such a completely different scenario. Mm -hmm. And it has to do with, with just Steve being Steve, and I think Dill is really trying to push her way into that lingering gyro on the edge there, and uh, Jules thankfully was not able to, was not uh, sent to that direction the way Dill wanted to. Yeah, but that would yeah. be massive damage. Mm -hmm. And Dill is tearing down these walls with the neutral there, putting in the word, oh, no gyro. Sad. And then, um, I like how Jules just utilizes her tools to just, you're coming at me, throw out the diamond pick, or throw out the pickaxe back here just to cover that space. Oh yeah, not getting anything off of the missed anvil either. Just able to recover from that relatively quickly before uh, Rob could do anything. Now we're just kind of playing a game of back and forth, trying to see who will be taking us. Uh, Control center stage. I know Dill is really opting for that control uh, as much as she can, while Jules is opting to get some more iron tools into her disposal because there is one, no blocks. There's one. That's it. There's one block. Oh, I know right Dill's. Arm rotor can break wood. Okay. Yeah, I know Dill is definitely looking to um, take out that uh, minecart stock. And I know she's definitely looking for the rotor arm kill right there, but Jules will not be folding to any source of uh, trickery that Rob may have to throw at this Minecraft Steve man. Seeing, being a witness as to uh, the earlier step with Kamix. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I love how Dyro just reflects on the and catches it on the rebound. To be going, yeah. <laughs> Jules had the right idea. Um, I, I think using magma block. Oh, my scoop is bigger than your scoop. Now we got the magma block scoop. That's literally what that was. My scoop is better than your scoop. Oh, my forward match is kind of raw. It's kind of like rock hard. Sorry. Yeah, Dill getting caught on her air dodge. Jules was just able to let the diamond forward smash kind of just rip right now. Mm -hmm. and, and now lingers, you know, like Jules is just tearing into Dill right now, especially off those conversions. Still holding. Um, still being really patient and shield, just not really folding to the gyro or anything. But uh, it might be Dill's turn to clap back right now. Oh my god. Nah, it, you're not it, dead. Rob's fine. Rob's you're fine. Not, you're real Rob. You're chilling. Play with me. Rob's fine. Rob has gas. That's gas. That's gas. <laughs> hmm. 
good old down throw. And we can see up air. Yes, we are finally getting that conversion. Really, I'm sorry, not conversion. That combo ended. As the first time I'm seeing that tonight, I'm definitely sure that Dill has pulled that out in bracket, but not oh, on stream so far. Uh, I, th I think it's a. I think sometimes she waits it out to see where they're gonna go. If, if they're going to mash out a certain way. Oh my that's goodness. That's tough. That's that's tough. Oh my. She's explained to me that. The way that you mash out, or how fast you mash out, is where she knows if you're gonna be up tilted or up aired after the fact. Um, going to specifics, I forgore the specific specifics of it. I forgore. But I forgore. But she's explained to me that like, or she she's been to Zamba, and I was eavesdropping, actually. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's, that's kind of how you, she like. You were listening in to steal with your hero knowledge. I, w I was doing big boy eavesdropping. That's a big boy task. Yeah, yeah. It was also really. when you minding other people's business. I never mind people's business. I love drama. I love I love like listening to other people's like conversations. Ooh, you don't got ooh, your drama? own business ooh. to mind, so you mind others. Nope. Yup. Yup. <laughs> I gotta have no business. I'm so boring. <laughs> you all excite me. No, fully. Yeah. Uh, but. We're going into this game three over here, and this is Dill's potential last uh, tournament set Stop. over here. Yeah, I was about to say, yo, Jules, you're kind of going crazy up there with the up airs into blocks. Like, please? The fact that Steve can, can always kind of re refresh his jump by just adding more blocks is really funny. Like, hello? Yeah, and Dill has kind of just been going really out there, just trying to take Jules' stock with rotor arms, trying to get it with down airs. And I understand. You definitely want to take this block man out as fast as you can, but you have to kind of just slow things to your roll you gotta and to your own pace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely got to respect that. And now um, this is your time to shine. Just getting Steve in disadvantage and just keeping him up in the skies. Always second guessing. Nice. Yeah, Dill with a really good snipe out on that air dodge. Just getting that back air in. And now Jules is kind of just turtling in the corner right now. Building up her wall, getting those resources. Diamond, though, building up in the back pocket right now. And she's just looking to navigate back to her good old crafting table. But Dill is just not letting her breathe right now. Rotor Arm gonna be sniping out this first stock in this game three. And there goes crafting table being uh, built right then and there. And we have a diamond. We have diamond at our disposal, sorry. And Dill knows better. She learned her lesson knowing that attempting to mine out, I'm sorry, match out minecart. Results in you just straight up getting spiked into the, into hell. Oh my goodness! Oh my damn! Yeah. I think that hitting hitting the mic the the crafting table actually like held out the hitbox for longer. That's really funny. Yep, and I I love when players utilize the crafting table to just extend out their hitboxes. It's just so big brain. And uh, this is there a situation you don't want to be in, Jules. Not quite getting the forward air spike to uh, end Dill, but you know, Dill is still robbed. Dill definitely can come back from that. Oh, absolutely. There's no one who says that she can't. I mean, like, right now, getting the up smash on, Jill, on, on Jules on Jules, really big for her right now. And now that we're at, well, we're at even percentage, so two things can really happen here is, is that, well, besides one of them winning, um, Dill can keep up this, this, this momentum going by keeping Jules off stage where. Uh, Dill is comfortable attaching people with, with sight, with arm rotor, and with uh, falling there into up air and things like that. Jules, on the other hand, can really keep control of the center stage and use mine ooh, or up smash minecart as a uh, as an escape option for most of the time. Yeah, and you can tell that Jules has really picked up on Dill's always dropping off that angel platform <gasps> and just trying to get some uh. rotor arms. And uh, you know, D D Dill is still hanging, just trying to swap yep. sides. You know, mix things up to uh, get that position back from Steve. Trying to extend the down That's air. That's funny. Yep. Trying to extend that down air to um, get that kill off the crafting table. But still, we will be taking this off oh, with the no. up smash. Dill got a little bit too hasty with with the gyro into side into side B. And uh, yeah, Juice just got out of that almost scot free. But maybe we can start doing that again. We can kind of get the. Uh, I love, I love the right, the falling nair, just breaking minecart and hitting Jules in the process. Yep, and getting an extension off it as mm -hmm. well. And I love how Jules is just going high. Oh, not Jules. Dool, Dill, Dill is going high. <laughs> I love how Dill is just going high, covering, covering nice herself, chase. and just keeping Jules off of her. And uh, yo, we might clutch this out. No. We might bring this to a game four. Rotor arms. You saved not her. Quite. You saved Jules. No. That's it. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We go. You're saying? 
No, the first time Jules was actually gonna uh, not SD, but they weren't they were too far from the from the ledge to actually recover safely. So Electro was gonna run out before they had reached the the ledge to do magnet hands. Um, however, I think I see on this replay here. Yeah, no, you, you, I think you can literally see her. Vince, yeah, right there yeah, yeah, was yeah. the very last instance of her Elytra because you, you can see by the sparks actually when they run out, uh, mm -hmm. where they get slower and slower and slower. That was really the, pretty much her last little breath of life. And then the second one, you were just you were you were stuck going straight. There was nothing you can do about it. But okay, still getting some uh, some wind in her sails right now. We're going to Battlefield, which uh, I'm not too fond of, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's just that that third platform adds a really good amount of um, options for Dill. Love Jew's thought process in trying to go for the up smash, the delayed up smash, just to make sure that she can grab a Dill rec uh, high recovery. However, Dill opted for a more grounded recovery option from the ledge. Yeah, throwing out that up, uh, up smash kind of preemptively, Force Dill is like, oh, I was, I probably would have jumped from ledge maybe to go for an aerial like that, but I'll just come on, get that damage of my own. And now, uh, planking against Steve is kind of very interesting because down tilt, or yeah, down tilt kind of just lingers out forever with the flint and steel, and it's very annoying to kind of work around. Mm hmm Absolutely. Here we go. We're having an issue where we just broke our our, our pickaxe, so we're going back while we're stone. Uh, we have no more iron at our disposal. We're gonna be mining for a little more air for more uh, blocks right here in the edge right now. Now Jules is going into that more uh, usual Steve approach where we're gonna be building many pillars of blocks just to get some uh, some iron under our belt. Yeah, and the damage is slowly building up on Jules right now. Really good laser types. I'm really liking it. And. Jules is just trapped and dealt at the ledge over here, trying to go for the pickaxe back here. It's not quite working out though. And uh, there we go. I said, no, not quite killing. That's very surprising. I guess with the stone, but oh my you could just go out there like that and spike, oh I guess. Oh my goodness. And I, I like that Jules is recognizing that when Dill does drop the injured platform and you do have over like 150 health, she will just straight up just go for like this armor, armor to ride down and. Jules not letting that happen by just shooting right through it. I understand you're from behind, but you gotta switch it up. You know, throw mm -hmm. in a good old grab in there. Put him in a good old 50-50. You always keep him guessing. And Jules right now is just kind of hovering around, looking to keep position, do that damage. Minecart gonna be uh, bursting Dill out onto the corner, just forcing her to just retreat from high and just find her opening. But I nice. love the anvil to just catch the jump out yes. of shield. Dill was definitely not ready for that with that DI. I, I wasn't expecting a, a jump out of shield like like that either. You know, an anvil is such a powerful tool for Mercy, not only because it does so much damage. It's just a really easy gateway option. It's, it's also technically an extra platform that Steve can kind of stay on, and you're safe from a lot of down, uh, down options, with your, your low options, I'm sorry, to your, uh, to your character. So now Dill is at a stock deficit. Jules has to be just really be careful not to get up aired, and there it is. He has to be really careful with with Dill's um, frantic recovery or frantic options, because once Dill know, knows you're in kill percentage, she will go and fish for that arm rotor or up air. Yeah, and I'm really loving that trade off the gyro. Dill is just able to get a solid or a decent amount of damage off it right now. Still looking to continue this pressure with the neutral airs. Gyro just eating up yep. the minecart, doing in that damage, and now Dill is in a really comfortable position to kind of just lock Jill or duels right now. Still just trying to snipe out anything with the laser, doing in the damage, and Jules has gold tools right now. So, uh, oh no, as oh he's, no! As gold tools though, so actually Dill is pretty much safe. Uh, I safer than when she had got hit by Diamond earlier in the in the set. So. We should be good for a little bit. I opting to uh, try to read a fast fall down to the, back to the platform, but Dill just went going in for the high recovery and to stall out uh, any of Jules' kill options. Yeah, that top platform is doing so much for Dill just to run away from a lot. Wow, it was funny. Uh, I run away from a lot laser of was hilarious. Jules' options. Oh, oh no. my god, the, the gyro just pushed Jules back onto the TNT, doing in that damage right now. And this is a very close fourth game here. You have no iron. No iron, but just a diamond right now. Dill is going to be yes, locking her down is. in the corner. And Jules escaping through the, the Rob, Rob's clutches right now with a good old air dodge. 
looking to catch Dill just coming on in with an F smash. We know that's kind of her go-to to oh, option perfect. in these panic or scramble situations. Just the back air pressure, the F smashes. You're definitely going to expect some explosive option just coming. I'm, oh my gosh! She almost had it, the tech on in with the down smash, but it didn't quite cover it. Nah, I'm, I'm mad. Why'd you roll three times? There is a perfectly good punish opportunity off of the miss Dill, uh, miss Rob down smash. Now Jules in a very scary predicament. We're going to be wishing for the dare, and we're not getting it either. Uh, Gyro's on the center stage, and we're going to be getting... No, nothing off of this. No. no it had it been on the top platform, boom. Done. Well, that's it. Bye. Oh my god. That, that was so clutch from Dill. Just hanging on in there with the Rob. Not folding to any Stevenson F smash. Now... That grab hey, that Ju yes, <laughs> that grab that Jules did kind of cost her like that whole last bit because grab is such a super committal option in that last or for Steve, and I figured she boy maybe wanted to get an up throw for the kill or like res reset the position, but she lost his dog for it. She, she lost that game for it. We're gonna PS2. Let's go. But the best theme, in my opinion. Oh, this is this one goes hard. It's it's the it's, it's literally just the first part. Zinnia theme. I can't even lie. Zinnia's theme it goes hard, but literally just the first part is like. I and love then it's like the normal Smash Pokemon the music. Violin. But here we go. This is last game. In game five. The winner of this fights John Numbers up in losers finals. And numbers can possibly get his run back with Jen if the world, if the fates allow it. Honestly, what let's I will be knowing is that we do have a Steve in top four. Let's go, Steve. Just, bro, get out of my commentary <laughs> and nowhere further. Dill, dill, dill. You hear this bias? The you hear the bias right. on this? <laughs> so somebody help Production me. Production allowed me bias. We're not. So here we go. We're having. A strap over on PS2. Uh, I think we haven't seen a little. We have seen the stage in a little bit, just because there's there's just better stages for Steve and Rob. Okay, but of course this stage is super good for uh, for Steve, just because of the ma mining options available to uh, to Steve as as well. Of course, we noted earlier the middle stage being where you get all your base uh, the, your base materials and the edges and wherever there's like kind of like silver is where you get better iron chances. Yep, and Jules just popping the diamond right now. Has to make it to that crafting table to just kind of just craft it. But she is building up her arsenal a bit before she can convert on over. Especially just having no iron right now is very scary for Steve. You have no anvil at disadvantage. You have no power mine cards to just whip out your burst tools. And oh my god, Gyro just eating the mine card. That's very yeah, funny. Yeah, we have to be very careful about the way that Gyro actually overpowers mine cards where it's rising enough. Uh, Jules just keeps kind of running into them when they are stationary on the ground. And I'm not sure if it's on purpose or if she's just kind of forgetting that, the, that there's a gyro right there. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, it lingers forever. Now, I love that Jules did like the one axe up or the one up tilt on shield and just let it forward smash strip. Because normally Steve's would go for the two F up tilts and they'd be like, okay, I, I can roll out now. No, you are not safe. You're getting smoked by any attack I can throw at you. And now yeah. Jules is sitting very comfortably right now with a solid 169 lead right now, forcing Dill to just be the aggressor, tearing down these walls and just playing a very keep away game. Yeah, we're mining with our hands. You're not getting much off of that because I, I, I believe if you mine your hands, you get less chance of getting iron. Just because, like, yeah. I think of like Minecraft. And it takes like, longer pick, as well. Pick, pick. And it takes way longer. And so we, we definitely need to be using these walls to our advantage and just start getting our tools back up. We do have diamond at our disposal. Um, I believe we're just kind of looking for some more conversions to kind of get more percentage on Dill, or at least take the stock and then go with Diamond for a last stock. Not sure what the plan is right now, but we're definitely mining with our with our fists. This is very interesting. Just Jules is mining with no pickaxe right now, and mm -hmm. just going at it with the fists. There, I think now we're gonna go drop right down and go right to getting. Yep. Diamond, okay, diamond I, I see the game that they're trying to play. I, it, I like yeah. it. I like it. I get it. Yeah, again, Gyro is really... You know how Jules has the, the, the block shield, of course? Yeah. Dill's shield is straight up Gyro. It is eating all these minecarts that Jules always opts to run in with. That is, that is her approach option. And Gyro is just like, actually, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna eat all that. And then you're forced to jump out, and Dill can really catch you wherever you're not comfortable. 
That is granted, is Gyro is out and about. Yep, and uh, Jules is just still setting herself up in the corner with a pickaxe because if you approach Steve, you are most likely going to eat a diamond pickaxe back here. You just got to be re really careful with how you plan things. And Dill, we know she just loves going for these rotor arms, but you're going to be losing whole stocks if you just keep on giving away position and going for things like that. I actually love that option from Jules. Like, it was just recognizing Dill's incessant need to always go for his arm rotor underneath the stage where you're expecting Jules to kind of chase you into. And Jules, of course, has like the has minecart. It's a humongous hitbox, and it goes so far. You know, really good on Jules just for recognizing that in that quick moment. That's, oh my god, the way that Steve like, sent on ledge is so funny. That roll was so beautiful. Just avoiding the rotor arms, not trying to get cheesed out by a stock from the rob. And Jules, I love how um, she's just been setting up these block setups to kind of just throw a minecart, you know, if Dill comes her way. And uh, just in general with all the walling, because it forces Dill to just throw out the nares and um, watch out where um, she's throwing out these arrows to just break down these walls. Now, now we're just playing a, a game of, of chase. Uh, Dill is using the, the extra surface area provided by the platform, and also even the main platform, the extra on the edges, to kind of run away uh, from Jules whenever able to. Also, everyone forgets that Arm Rotor is a reflector. Of course, we can't be throwing it out all willy-nitty because it lasts for so long, but it is a reflector in this option, and you're not dying quite yet to forward smash off of the last, off of the edge of the stage. I'm just going to ignore that Jules forward smash like four times, but... That, that was a really good nil up smash. We're gonna ignore it because she did it like last game too, but it's okay. I pretend I do not see. I this is the I definition of it. I pretend I do I not pretend see. Pretend not see it. No, you'll, you'll see that a lot with Steve's when they know that they're in a really good kill percentage uh, zone. Um, you're, you're just gonna see them really fish for that forward smash on the ground like four times in a row until like you yeah. inevitably are like I'm not gonna get hit by it, and then like you get clapped, like I, not even like hit. You get like clapped so now we're going over to losers finals where numbers has been sitting very pretty for uh, a hot minute um i've been thinking about empanadas this entire time you've been thinking about empanadas where, where can you get a local empanada around here bro is empanada mama like a few blocks away oh. they have everything they have corn and wheat tortillas tortillas, tortillas. empanadas <laughs> and I, I'm a big fan of, of the regaton. It's basically just like yellow rice with mm -hmm. like yeah, cayules yeah. and, and all that stuff inside it. And it's chef's kiss. It's so good. And I also get like a, a cheese corn one because I like cheese. But they have a lot of good options. Now, now here's where I reveal that I'm allergic to the world. I'm allergic to everything. I don't know if you remember from the caster chat in the for fail save, but I'm like, I'm allergic to eggs and milk, so I can't have like nothing. All right, when they were giving us food. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so man. you're basically vegan. I'm basically, basically vegan. vegan. By by not by choice. Not by choice. I think it's a good lifestyle, you know. I, I love get the to collection avoid of water bottles you're accumulating down there. I got like three. Man's is hydrated. I'm almost done with mine. So if that one's unopened, I'll take it. Okay, bet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hydrate, unopened. hydrate. Hydration. Hydration. We're staying hydrated, and you. So should you. So should you. Do my, do my Torino. Please, please, please. Are we up to a dollar now? Point Matrino in the chat. Do, do, my, it, do, do it. We're up to a dollar. Do it, do it. If you can't spell it. Um, oh, we're at 550. Oh, All right. Okay. We're getting up there. It's kind of cheating because Projo is the man and he did a $5 direct Aww. contribution plus the Let's 25 go, cents. Projo. All right, but we want to see Thank some you. more. All right. Sheesh. Come on. Come on. Sheesh. That's really good. I did say it. Well, at least $1. After the dough match, and we did get like five, so in my opinion, we won. But five dollars for like our players that's like one dollar per person in top five. Like, come on now, at least eight dollars for top eight. Come on, come on.